I'm Lucien Bito and I am uh, doing uh, right now, uh, I mean this, uh, this moment, a PhD uh, about um, uh, minerality of images. So it's about the mineral condition in the contemporary images. So it means that maybe we can uh, have the hypothesis that all the images uh, and digital images come from something mineral. I mean the hardware part, like the cameras, uh, the sensors, the lenses. And so does it mean that maybe the mineral has an impact, a visual impact on the, what we see today? I mean, uh, on the social media or on every images that we are creating. I am trying to link the artistic uh, practices in experimental photography and the imagery from uh, astronomy. And so that's why I came to in Chile for two months uh, to visit the big uh, observatories and telescopes in uh, the Atacama Desert. And yeah, and so I wanted to see all the instruments, part, the instrumental parts of the, of the telescope. And after that, uh, during this uh, trip, I also look at the, rela the relation between the, the telescopes and the observatories and the mining sites. Because on the summit of the mountains, you have the telescope, but under it, you, there is often there is a lot of mining sites and they are uh, extracting rocks and minerals. I wanted to organize all the videos I made in uh, different scales. So there is piedras, uh, montañas, cielos, Estrellas, and so the four parts are the compilation of uh, my video archive of the of Chile. Every uh, picture on the mosaic is one of the uh, image of the movie. I mean, the, of the there is twelve image by second, and so this is all the images. So I printed it on different metals, and so the four metals are for each scale. And after that, when I printed it. I scan it again, so you have you see the the frame of the print inside the movie. So it's a kind of analog analogical compression of the movie. <laughs> yeah, there is this uh, French uh, philosopher Roger Caillois. Uh, he was member of the surrealist movement, and he he said that if you cut a rock in two parts, it's like a primitive photography of the universe because. It's the flat field of one moment in the universe, and it's stuck like the rock is a kind of a collection of images, and you can make some slice, and it's a kind of a one moment picture, you know. And it's it's interesting to imagine that uh, you know it uh, it's a material film, so that's why also I wanted to do this kind of project because uh, put the movie on something material like uh, on the metal on different metals, it means that the movie becomes something that you can touch. And so after I can scan it, print it again, send it to Chile and do the, the movie again. And it was interesting to know that there is this um, physical part in the process. And I think it's the same in, uh, in astronomy. That's a problem also because they, they do, often they don't have this uh, physical part. So how you can uh, uh, make something uh, tangible uh, or something you can touch in the process of astronomy. When we began to work together, we talked about the, the team, the silence. Uh, the, it was interesting to me to speak about the, what we spoke before, the underground activity of the mining sites uh, that are quiet, you know, like we don't want to be seen. We want to do it like really far away from the cities. Like uh, I went to also uh, uh, to Nevado Tres Cruces, and in this area, it's a really beautiful and natural area. But underground, there is a lot of uh, uh, mining activities, and we don't see it because I mean, you just see the really altiplano magnifique. Uh, it's really nice, but underground, you know, there is a, silently these activities, and that I was really, I I I, fe I felt something really interesting in this theme of silence because. It means also that um, the silence is not something where you have nothing. It's something that uh, something is happening, but uh, in a way that is um, uh, behind the something. <laughs>